Hey Team J Gamers and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode we got through the Viridian Forest. And today I guess we're going to make our way to Pallet Town and beyond. Or something to that effect, sort of, maybe. Anyway, we can't do the city's gym leader yet for obvious reasons. Because, you know, his gym is made out of Lego and whatnot. You know, if you played the original Gold and Silver, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, then you haven't lived. Okay, uh, to the south is Pallet Town where Professor Oak is blah, 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 blah. Okay, shut up. Uh, let's go. <clears throat> this music's awesome, by the way. Brings back memories. I remember the first time I ever played Pokemon Red. I was like, humping tree! Oh yeah, apricorn tree. Or humping a black tree, look at that. Okay. Do 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 do. Ah. No, go away. Do 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 do. Come on, can we get over there? Yeah. Anyway, the first time I ever played Pokemon Red, I caught a Pikachu in Viridian Forest, because I was like, you know, a noob. And I was like, yeah, I want a Pikachu, because it's like the coolest thing ever, because I didn't really know any other Pokemon. So then I got to uh, Brock, and I was like, Thunderbolt! God, why isn't Thunderbolt doing anything? So I continued to spam Thunderbolt in vain, hoping that it would work eventually. Yeah. You know, when you're a noob, you have no idea that electric doesn't work on ground. Heck, they did it in the anime! It worked there, because the anime makes so much sense. Pidgeot! I love Pidgeot. That's sick. I should use a Pidgeot in, like, normal Wi-Fi. It, the only problem is it's kind it's, well, it's actually pretty slow. So it's too slow to be bended. It's too, f um, weak to be scarfed. And on its own with Life Orb, it's just no. So it's very hard to actually use Pidgeot. If it had some kind of, like epic speed, it would be nice, but of course it does not, so, you know how it is. Oh, uh, trainers meet, the first thing they do is battle. Mm, well, I think the first thing they do is talk to you and say some stupid line that nobody cares about. Jinx! Oh god, you're weird. <laughs> Jinx, 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 come on, you're going to offend all the, uh, freaking black people with your... Yeah. I, I don't understand why, well, I understand why there was such a big controversy over it, but I mean, so what? Who really cares? I mean, if you're that offended by it, then go, you know, go cut yourself or something. I don't know, if you're emo. I mean, just why do you care? I mean, oh no, there's a black Pokemon. Well, guess what? Dugong's white. Can I complain about that? Oh, and Pikachu's yellow. That might offend Asian people. Oh, oh, and, and uh, Rotom... There's that freaking lawnmower, so that offends Mexicans. I mean, heck, I could say that, like, a, the shape of the round Pokeball offends me because I only like square things, you know? Oh, God, this guy's actually intelligent. Uh, well, maybe not. He's switching into a Magmar on a, an earthquake. Uh, well, whatever. So, yeah, uh, bottom line, eat Hershey's chocolate. Everything will be okay. Yeah, um, at work, they wrote off, like, this giant five-pound chocolate bar, and I got to take it home for free, because they didn't want it. So I've got a big slab of chocolate now. Literally, it's 50 times larger than a normal Hershey bar. Like I said, five pounds of solid chocolate. If you're jealous, I don't blame you. Mmm, because it tastes so good. And I will continue to eat it while narrating, just to rub it in. Mmm, Hershey's. Yeah, I only live about 40 minutes away from Hershey, Pennsylvania, so... Like, literally, I can... Well, yeah, I would say Hershey Park and, like, the Chocolate Factory is only about 40 minutes away. That's about right. You know, if you put the pedals of the metal. Cameron, the photographer, how did you get here? Why is it nighttime in the game? It's only, like, six... I don't know. Obviously, they'd never heard of Daylight Savings. Or whatever. Not Daylight Savings. The other one. Standard. Oh, God. Absol. Um, I guess we can use Ice Squirt. And I'm faster. What the frick? I knew Absol wasn't really that fast, but I didn't think it was that slow. You know, I just thought Absol might do really well on the Trick Room team. I should think about that sometime. 
Let's see. Superpower, Night Slash. Yeah, I can get some pretty good moves. Alaka Rape! I'm gonna use. Oh, frick! Oh, crap. Well, uh, it was nice knowing you, uh, Lapras. That is not going to kill you. Okay, whatever, I'll take it. Anyway, I never use Waterfall, so this looks like a pretty good time to use it. Against an Alakazam. Come on, die, 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 die. Yes. Truly, I am the most epic Pokemon. Or maybe I'm just higher level. Ice Trainer French? No wonder he lost. <laughs> Loser. Okay, uh, let's go down this way. Let's go see Professor Pedophile. I mean, Oak. Oh, God, we still got another trainer. Uh, you there, Wonder Battle? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, God, nice position. Yeah, yeah, Wonder Battle. Quinn. Huh. Ice Squirt, go! As soon as I can ching Sparkle, Sparkle. Yes, 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 we get it. Okay. Ahem. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm choking on my Hershey's chocolate now. You know, the chocolate that you can't have because it's mine. <clears throat> okay, anyhow. Uh, Stormy! I probably made a poor judgment by staying in because I can't really hurt it. Or can I? Oh! Oh god, I'm dead. See you, Lavarus. Oh! Wow, you never cease to amaze me with your... Ability to, su to uh, survive anything, Lapras. Truly, you are the most epic Pokemon ever. Except, of course, for this one! Herper derper der, get in there! Come on, let's wall. Thunderbolt, yeah, yeah, I predicted that because I'm a master of prediction. Also, it was kind of obvious, so, you know. Okay, Parish Count Photo 2. Confuse Ray. Ew. I don't like that attack. Now. Is he going to use a water type attack? And if so, should I switch to Lapras? Darn it, Herb Derp. Suck. Okay, Blizzard. Okay, use Blizzard. Actually, I think Lapras might have survived that just because it's, you know, four times resisted. Okay, can I not be confused? Darn it, Herb Derp. What are you doing? I know, I realize you're stupid and your name's Herb Derp, but jeez. How can you confuse a star for. A blind, retarded snake. I don't get it either. Okay, Herb Derp, you're the only one that's level 51 now, so we gotta use you. Which I have no problem with, because you're awesome. Okay, Herb Derp, get out front, please. Okay. Uh, oh god, grass. Eh, yes! Ratatas evaded! Let's go steal Red's crap from his room! Hi, Red's mom. Let's see. Hi, Red's been away. He hasn't caught either, so I have no idea where he is or what he's been doing. They say no no news is good news. Well, I guess. Unless he's dead. Let's steal his Wii! It's a Wii! It's huge in Kanter too! Yeah, let's steal it! Come on! <sighs> Darn it. I didn't bring my Kangaskhan. I don't have a pouch to hide it in. You win this time! Okay, um, I guess we'll go over here now, This is because this is Gary Oak's house, let's see if his sister's there. Daisy, hi, my kid brother is a leader in Ferodian City, he goes off to town, so there, 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 there. okay, um, I totally can read. Oh, another Wii, let's do this one. It's huge. You said that last time, that's cheating. And by the way, his room is an exact copy of Red's, except backwards. So, lazy game designers. Okay, let's go in this place. Oh, there's the fat dude again! I, I, wait, 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 wait. First, I have to talk to this fat guy, because it's a tradition. Whenever, I, whenever I'm in Pallet Town, I have to... Technology is incredible! <laughs> I'm fat! Because technology is incredible! It's so incredible how quickly they can make donuts and how quickly I can eat them! Technology is incredible! Okay, enough of, uh, donuts. Let's go talk to Professor Rapist. Ah, Peter, it's good of you to come all this way! To Ghetto! What do you think of the trainers out here? Pretty tough, huh? Sure. Professor Oak! Ah, you're... Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to read that part. Oops. <laughs> ah, you're collecting Kanto gym badges. I imagine that's hard, but, uh, creepy. Okay, when, you know, we get all the gym badges, uh, have national decks evaluated. Hmm. Scenes... I've only caught 18. <laughs> 
I never do the Pokedex, ever. I don't, I don't care about it, because all you get is a certificate to say, Congratulations, you're officially a nerd now! It's like, yeah, thanks, I already knew that. Okay, um... I need some heals here, because Herbdurp's dying, and uh, Lapras is dying, so... Let's see, just healing him up, before we go onto the, uh... route here and get to Cinnabar Island. I love Cinnabar Island. If it wasn't, like, a mountain in lava filled apocalyptic mess, I would probably live there. Because I, I always thought the, the music there was cool. Of course, now it's really sad because it's been destroyed. Okay, we're going to fire up a rappel here because I don't want to run into tentacles. They are annoying and I don't like them. And I only have eight rappels. I should probably buy more. By the way, there's, I think, Tanglas and Mr. Mimes there. I don't know about Mr. Mimes, but I know there's Tanglas. I don't know... One time I'm sure I ran into a Mr. Mime, but it was probably because I was hacking, or maybe I'm just high. Um, wow, you're really hot. Okay, anyway, uh, here's a seal. So, let's see if we can hack this thing to death. Uh, headbutt. Bam. Actually, I think seal can learn headbutt, too. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, because it's dead. I one hit KO'd it, because I'm awesome like that. Okay, Dugong. I like Dugong. But it's white, so I'm highly offended by that. Please change the color to blue. Oh, oh, wait, no, no, don't, because then the Smurfs will be offended by it. Why am I getting back onto this subject? Flinch! Ha ha ha, I bet you're offended by my awesome haxing ability. Dunsparce, the original Togekiss! The first and still the best. In fact, it is the original Togekiss, because it can get Thunder Wave and Roost, as well as Serene Grace and a Flinch haxing move. Okay, um, is this a bird keeper? I don't know why, but there's random bird keepers here. Surrounding yourself with bird Pokemon gives you the feeling that someday you might be able to fly too. Well, you can! You just need the TM fly! What are you, stupid? Even Dodrio can fly and it doesn't even have wings! Guess it spins its heads around like a helicopter or something. Who knows? Hey, there's a Farfetch'd. They're awesome. And they didn't get an evolution, so I'm extremely angry at you, Game Freak. I expect three evolutions I expect out of sixth gen. I expect a Dunsparce evolution. I expect a Farfetch'd evolution. And I expect Quillfish. A Quillfish evolution. Because they deserve it. They've been around for like ever. I guess maybe they were around when Jesus walked the earth. So, they deserve an evolution. By the way, why did he use Mirror Move? Who cares? Headbutt! Oh, Pidgeotto. Pidgeot is so epic. I just wish it didn't suck. Why am I 1-HKOing everything with Headbutt? I mean, I have a Silk Scarf, but I didn't know Dunsparce was that awesome. I knew it was awesome, but I didn't know it was, like, uber-tastic awesome. Tully? Okay, I hope one of these... I've caught a trainer instead of a Pokemon. Do you mean that chick swimming out in the water? Because if you've caught her with your fishing rod... You know, that's kind of pedo-ish. Okay, uh, Corsola. Mmm, good thing I carry Dig. I carry Dig for just such an occasion. Rock and Seal types. Or Ghost types, but then again, you know, I would probably just switch if I came across a Gengar, because I couldn't really hurt it. Oh, wow, I'm still one-hit KOing everything. Gun sparse. You, you just you just can't help it that you're too awesome. Okay, uh, let's go for Greg now. Corsola, yeah. We definitely want to go for Greg. Corsola's awesome, by the way. I can get Hustle, Sucker Punch, Stone Edge, you know, kind of, uh, an explosion. But, you know, Hustle plus Stone Edge doesn't work. Hustle plus Explosion, it misses. Hustle plus Sucker Punch, you know. Hustle in general is just crap. And the sun is shining in a window, like, right into my eyes, so it's really uncomfortable to sit here. Because the sun is just, like, blinding. Of course, it always is, but it's especially blinding because it's- Crap, I just used cut. Because it's, like, shining right in my window, coming down, like, beneath the blinds. Lucky chance. Uh... Yeah, that's definitely gonna help you, question mark? Maybe? Maybe not. God, son. Why must you exist? Oh, right, because you, uh, provide the planet with life. I forgot. Okay. Hopefully, 
He has another Corsola. Jeez, you're as bad as the Magikarp guy. At least Corsola can do something. Other than, you know, one hit KO everything. Because Magikarp's just broken. Right, I would love to get to Cinnabar Island this episode, so... Uh, well, I've still got about five minutes. I mean, I can go over 20 minutes. I just prefer not to, because... Let's be honest here, who wants to watch a 25-minute video of me just going around battling stuff on Pokemon? I mean, sure, maybe you'd want to, but it just seems like it drags on too long past 20 minutes. I, I mean, even, heck, even past 15 can get a little bit long in my opinion, but I, I really, it's just for my convenience that I make longer videos, because then I don't have to edit them as much, so, yeah, I'm lazy. What are you going to do about it? Oh, right, chocolate. Mmm. That's what I think about your complaining. Oh my god, Azumarill! Holy crap! Why are these Pokemon so low leveled compared to all the other ones? I don't know. I'm just, you know, Azumarill. Okay, I killed it in one hit. I did not expect that, but whatever. Mmm, chocolate. God, you're hot. Take it off, lady. What are you doing? Ah! Get on the water. Come on. Lapras, you are Jesus. You can walk on the water. Do it. What the freak is this guy doing? He's like spinning around in circles. Wee! Crack is awesome! Maybe he dropped... Okay. Dude. Just... Just battle me, please. Thank you. Gotta keep going. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely on something... You know, something. Something that makes you have quagsires. Um, so yeah, I think the sun is trying to kill me at the moment. Like, it, it's trying to blind me. Go away. I would lower my blinds, but see, my chair is on this side of my room, and my window is like on the opposite wall. So, it's really inconvenient for me to get up and walk over there. Because then, that that would require a certain amount of effort. And that's effort I'm not willing to put forth into saving my eyesight at this possible, at this particular point in time. So, you know, whatever. I'm being lazy today, I can't help it. So anyway, I'll, I didn't even mention that there was an auxiliary there. Hey, auxiliary, you're awesome. Really good on Trick Room, I have to say. Octillery is an awesome Trick Room Pokemon. I'm not going to fight any of these fishermen because one of them has Magikarps, and I'll get them later because I don't feel like fighting six Magikarps in a row. You know, because they'll just beat me. Don't want to lose. Losing sucks. Esteban! Oh, uh, yeah, I should probably shouldn't mention... Hold on. Just have to knock on wood first before I mention the fact that it hasn't crashed yet while I'm recording. I'm gonna knock on wood again because... Yeah. The count at the moment is three. And I would rather not get to four. You know, three is too much. E heck, your computer crashing once is too much, so... Okay, Poliwhirl. Uh... I don't really have anything to take down water type specifically. I guess I'll just go to uh, Indignation and. How many Pokemon does this guy have? He's only got one left, I'll just use Thunder. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll just use Thunder. Just because I don't want the battle to uh, drag on for too long. Thunder! Sorry, I mean Indignation! <clears throat> that would be the correct way to pronounce it. Okay, get out of here, Poliwhirl. Mm, I think I'm almost at Cinnabar, actually, so... Well, we should be ending off the episode pretty soon. Because <clears throat> we we just hit the 19-minute mark, according to Audacity's little recording thingy, my bob. So, oh yeah, we're almost there. Actually, we are there. So, yay! If I can get there without crashing into rocks and walls and whatnot... Uh, there's Gary. But we're not going to talk to him yet, because he's, he's a loser. We'll just stand next to him and stare at him like a stalker. Okay, anyway, next episode we will do stuff and go to Blaine's gym and probably not get to him this episode, but we'll go to his gym nonetheless next episode. And it's all going to be, yeah, uh, it's going to be very nice. It's going to be a party, you're invited, um, you know, BYOB. Who's bringing the Doritos? Anybody? Okay, anyway, see you guys next time.